Are you guys looking for a new digital video magnifier that has all the features of the high-end models but isn't going to break the bank? Is it a myth? Does it really exist? Well, this might be the one. Hang on, we'll be right back and we'll take a look at it. This is the True Zoom 5-inch digital video magnifier brought to us by Palmer Vision. Contact information and links in the description down below. In the box you get the magnifier itself, a drawstring carrying bag, cables for connecting it to an older style TV setup, HDMI cable, and a USB Type-C cable that I've already used. The True Zoom is a 5-inch Full HD video magnifier that has a ton of features, high-end features, including two cameras, one for distance viewing and one for near viewing, the fold-out handle, the kickstand for viewing it at a desk, the ability to take screenshots and then save custom voice labels with those images, even a full audio menu system, plus over 20 color filters on this little guy here. You can connect it to external monitors. It even has a removable battery, which compared to other high-end magnifiers in this category is pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the hardware for the True Zoom. You've got your large five inch full HD display, very high contrast tactile buttons. On the back you have two cameras. One is pointing down at a 45 degree angle. That's for your near viewing. And then this other one here is for distance viewing. Two LEDs. You have the handle that slides out slides out to 180 degrees and then when the handle is closed you also have this little kickstand that pops out and this puts the magnifier at a nice comfortable 45 degree angle for reading sitting at a table or a desk on the right side here you have a memory card slot you have the microphone hole and the port to connect to the older style TVs. On the left side here, you have HDMI, and this is a micro HDMI. You have your USB Type-C charging port and an LED. This is one thing that I absolutely love about this magnifier is that all of these ports are clearly labeled. Now, I did have to use a magnifier in order to read them, but that is fantastic. I can't tell you how frustrating it is. I get so many of these magnifiers and they're just full of holes and you don't know what they do and you gotta try and plug in your plug into all the different ports until you find the one that it fits into. So having these clearly marked is fantastic. Also on the back here underneath the handle you have a removable battery. So if your battery starts to run out or something happens with the battery, you don't have to buy a whole new device. You can simply purchase a new battery. That is great. The buttons on the front here, you have your power button at the bottom down on the left. Then you have a save button for saving a freeze frame. You have your color filters button, very upper left. This changes from near viewing to distance viewing. Very upper right, you have the freeze frame button. So this will do a freeze screenshot or freeze frame. Then you have your plus and your minus buttons. This will zoom in and zoom out. And then at the bottom, very interesting, you have a autofocus or manual focus button here. So you can quickly toggle between autofocus and manual focus. We'll go ahead and turn this on. And you see we get a little sound effect, boot up sound, true zoom, and we are into the magnifier. So we're going to bring in our very favorite graphic novel series. I feature this on almost every one of my video magnifier reviews. ElfQuest, absolutely love this book ever since I was a little kid. But we're going to test out the near viewing with our little kickstand. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in and you'll hear that we have little audio prompts. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I can push the button here to just zoom in 
incrementally or I can press and hold to zoom in all the way. Zoom range up to 30, what is it? Zoom in. 32 times. That is incredible. 32 times zoom range. And if I go over to one of these characters here, great focus, very sharp. You can see all the little dots in the coloring there um, on the page. So the autofocus works really, really well. Very sharp image. We can press this one up here to take a screenshot. So we've frozen that image. And then of course we can zoom in. Now there is a way to pan the image by long pressing certain buttons. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. You can move this image around on the screen by a certain button combination. So we have our colors up here too. We can color cycle through our colors. It has a color and a color enhanced. And the regular cutter color had a little bit of a yellow tint to it. The color enhanced looks nice and white. There's negative. Black on white. Black on white. White on black. Yellow on black. Black on yellow. Red on black. Black on red. Orange on black. Black on orange. Color mode. So, a lot of really interesting color combinations, and I've turned off a lot of them. A lot of the blues, the greens, I don't use those, so I've turned them off in the settings. I'll show you how to do that. But I think there's 23 different color filters on this magnifier, which is pretty incredible. Apparently I need to change the timeout uh, setting as well. Sh uh, shuts off, you can adjust that, how quickly it will automatically shut off if you're not interacting with it. So I need to adjust that a little bit longer. So we have the near vi view. If I tap this one up here, Changes to far view, and then we can zoom, zoom in. in. Zoom in. See that at a distance. Zoom out. And it's a pretty decent camera. It's not the best I've seen, but as I said, it's also about two or three hundred dollars cheaper than uh, its competitors. You can save your images down here. Uh, this is the saved button. If I long press this button. Playback. We get into our gallery and I can cycle through the images that I saved. There's one that I was showing someone how you can save a, a voice memo to it and obviously I didn't save it very well, but um, you can do that. You can save audio messages to your saved pictures, which is fantastic. If I long press the camera button here, this takes me into the information menu. This tells me how much memory space I have on it. Menu up. This tells me how many photos and videos I have saved on menu here. Up. My battery life, 100%. Menu up. This is the operating system version I'm running. Menu up. And then back here. Menu off. If I long press the near and distance view here, Horizontal line. I can cycle through my different lines. Vertical line. And if I long press my color filter, I get into my settings menu. So I can adjust the brightness. Menu up. I, here are my different color contrasts. Option, set. Option up. And then here I can either choose to enable up. or disable some of these color options. Option up. Option up. And if it has a check mark, that means it's enabled. Option up. Option up. And if there's no check mark, then obviously it's not enabled. Menu up. You can set if it will speak to you or not. I have that turned on. Menu up. And then also if it will vibrate. So this has vibration built into it as well. Menu up. So lots of great options in the menu here and very graphical and easy to understand. So as I said, it has the handle that swings out and you can hold it as more of a traditional magnifier or you can hold it like this if you wanted to read something this way with the autofocus it works really well so all in all just a really solid magnifier
Okay guys, so that was a look at the True Zoom brought to us by Palmer Vision. Once again, I'll have links to the True Zoom website and the Palmer Vision website and all of that down in the description below. All in all, I think it's a pretty solid magnifier, especially for the price. It actually has a ton of features for the sub $600 price range. Honestly, it really has just about everything you could want in a small handheld portable digital video magnifier. Um, some people could argue that you would want OCR, but you usually don't find OCR in this size magnifier anyway. Honestly, I can't think of too much that, you know, to, to kind of nitpick about the True Zoom. If I had to say anything, I would just caution people to be careful with this little kickstand that pops out here. It's not the most um, robust. It's basically just a hinge here. Uh, so if you really kind of put some pressure on there, you could damage it. So just be careful of that when you're using it. Uh, obviously, it would be great if the handle extended past this 180 degrees so that left-handed users could use it more at a 45 degree angle. But um, that's also pretty common, unfortunately, in most handheld video magnifiers. It's great to see all those different features, all the different color filters, the ability to record a message or a label for your freeze frames or your still images. And one thing I really love is the ability to remove the battery. Generally with any type of small electronics, not just video magnifiers, but anything, cell phones included, what's the first thing to go is the battery. So that's really cool that if, you know, in a couple years, your battery does start to wear down, you can just purchase a new one instead of having to buy a whole new device. But that's it guys. That is the True Zoom. If you have any questions about this or anything, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. As I said before, if you would like more information about the True Zoom, all those links will be down below. Huge thank you to the True Zoom team and the team over at Palmer Vision for providing this unit for this review. And if you would like more content like this, Make sure you are subscribed to The Blind Life. I put out a new video every single Saturday and it's incredibly easy to stay up to date with those. Just make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications. Tap the little bell icon to turn those on so you'll be alerted every single time I put out a new video or I go live, anything like that. And of course, I always have to give a huge thank you to all the channel members. You can see their names scrolling by right there. It's your continued support that helps to keep the channel going and we truly appreciate it. If you'd like more information about becoming a member of The Blind Life, those links will be listed down below as well. But that is it for this one, guys. As always, this is Sam helping you live your best blind life and I will see you next time.